Ivor Kelly. Good morning. Good morning. Your child's going through a red light on Westminster and Manton. Well, Your Honor. Are you nervous this morning? No, I just, I have issues. I had to, I went through the red light because I had to use the bathroom. I have a bad bladder and I'm a diabetic. And I was trying to hold it, but I didn't want to wet my seat. So that's why I went through the red light. Oh, you went through the lights. You came here, you came here to uh, confess. That's the only reason why I went through the red light because I had to use the bathroom. Uh, you uh, you want to get next to the other microphone, please? I get to the other mic. And the traffic are, are light was up her? in the yeah. The traffic light was up in the ceiling too. You couldn't see it, so I just and then I seen the flash behind me. I said, "Oh," but I had to use the bathroom. Sorry. That's three bathrooms so far. <laughs> Show him. It's three bathrooms. She's trying to save it an excuse because it's up in the Philippines. And the red light was up in the Philippines. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I up, can't even find it. It's right there. Inspector Quinn, let me see that. It's hot in here, too. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is one such where the red light's actually up in the air. <laughs> Are you having flashes? Yes. Oh. I asked them, could I take off my shirt? They said no. But I got another, I got another shirt under, uh, underneath here. I do have, see? see your shirt. <coughs> take your shirt off. Take it off. Okay. Whoa, whoa. whoa. We need a little background music, Joe. Just no. <laughs> she likes to take her clothes off. I have another shirt. Oh, she is wow. hot. She's hot. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm good. All right. You feel better now? Yeah, I feel better now. All right. <laughs> We've come a long way, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I'll let the pastor see this. Now, what is your name? Ginger. And you are here to help her out. Is that why you came? Yes, yes. sir. Are you used to being like on stage? Yes, sir. You are. What have, what have you done? Several things. Uh, I used to model. I was on Sally Jesse Raphael. I won the prices right. Many things in California when I was younger. Oh, so you're, you're a seasoned pro. No, I'm not. I'm scared to death. I've always wanted to meet you. I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> My body's doing a jig without any jig. <laughs> Inspector Quinn, you're intimidating her. Well, tell her we got Bob Barker in the back office. Too. I met Bob Barker. I fell right on oh, top of him. him. Okay. I fell right on top of him. Boom. But, you know, up here. on the price is right. On. Fell right on him. Ba -doop -boom. Have you been in the movies? Uh, with Rock, I did a, a skit with Rock in Hawaii when he was so, first coming up. So you have all these famous people you've been involved with. Now you come to court and you you force somebody to undress in court. No, no, I'm not. We, we went all those places ex-military. Yeah, <laughs> it's hot in here. She's hot. All right, we don't want to get you upset. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you're gonna have a choice. You can pay you can pay thirty five dollars court cost and forget about okay, this. Okay, I paid thirty five dollars. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> yeah. All right. Good luck to you. Brian Fernandez. How you doing? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, you're charged with speeding on Blackstone Boulevard. It's one mile over the uh, prescribed limit. So, where are you from? You're from uh, East Providence? Uh, I'm originally from New Bedford, Mass. Yeah. I just moved to East Providence a year ago to be closer to work. Yeah, closer to you. What do you do for work? Uh, personal trainer. So you help other people train? Yes, yes I do. What and I'm the also training for a show myself. What do you mean by uh, show? Competition, men's physique competition. Oh, bodybuilding? Bodybuilding, yes, uh -huh. yes. What can, what can you do for Inspector Quinn? <laughs> At a certain price, uh, a lot. In my portfolio, Judge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can trim them down, right? Yeah, d absolutely. First thing, for put the right on, price. Put them on a diet. Yeah, it's all about nutrition. Some weights. Yeah, all nutrition, yeah. And all a little nutrition. bit of weights. Yeah. When you say nutrition, like, what do you mean? Yeah. Uh, cliche, chicken, rice, and broccoli seven times a day. Chicken, rice, and broccoli? All day. Three, three, every three hours. Yeah, but you, how, how do you cook the rice? Uh, There's a lot of ways to cook rice. No, nah, I just boil the water, put the rice in, put a little seasoning, all set. That's it? Bake but your you chicken. You can't put all the sauce on it and everything no, else? No, no sauces. has sugar. Oh, that's what I mean. No sugar. I know that I want rice, too, but I want all the sauces. Uh, no, no sauce. I was doing good until the broccoli. Nah. <laughs> no cheap meals, nothing. All right, he's fired. No. Yeah. He's fired. 
It's no longer my trainer. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you're out. We All expect right. Sorry about that. Have you been in competition before? <clears throat> no. First show, April 13th. Oh, yeah. Where was that? Uh, East Haven, Connecticut. Yeah. So what do you do? You have to do uh, yeah, stuff? Yeah. It's just men's physique. So, uh, Spectre Quinn. Not... Did you see that? Yeah. I... Yeah. That was a good pose. That was a good one. I, I, I remember in... Uh... 56. It was West Haven, Connecticut. I think you were the title champ. <laughs> What's the first thing you take into consideration when you see someone? So someone comes and says, I want to get in shape. Yeah. Right? So what, do you, what, do you, what factors do you take into consideration? Uh, you just got to make sure there's no injuries, check prior knowledge to education on lifting, and see what their current diet's like. How about the age? Age, uh, not a factor for me. I train everything, anybody from 16 to my oldest client's 84. Yeah, boy, you have to be careful with the guy 84. Oh, right, right. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to say? say run, yeah. run eight miles and come yeah, back. No, no, right? no, no. The guy, the next thing you I know, take it very you easy get a call from, uh, from yeah, I take uh, it very not a little home. <laughs> right? So, yeah. Follow me. You can't do that. <laughs> not a little is a funeral home. <laughs> right, right. I don't know if I should even go here, but I have to ask him this question. What was it? Are you married? I'm not. a so, uh, no? single father. My daughter's uh, three. Oh. I should be three, February 12th. Now, do you train females, too? Yeah, mostly female. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Mostly female. You. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> I know this stuff, Inspector. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not asking any other questions. There we go. No. Right, we're, yeah, we're don't gonna, get me in trouble. We're going to end it. We're gonna, and I'm going to get me in trouble. Yeah, we're going to end it right here. <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Fernandez, uh, you were doing one mile over the prescribed limit. Yes. and But the city has the discretion to charge you plus or minus one mile per hour. Yes. And I'm not sure if they exercise their discretion to charge you plus one mile or minus one mile. So I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Appreciate that. So based on that rationale, the matter is going to be dismissed. Thank you very much. Good luck. Have a good one. Thank you. When we start out in life, there are hundreds of possible paths for us to take. Each one leads to a different destiny. And it may surprise you, but it's true. As a young man, I took a brief stroll down bodybuilder lane. At first, I enjoyed the journey immensely. I had a fantastic body. All the ladies loved Zig the Rig. And then I came to a fork in Hulk Highway that demanded I start eating chicken, rice, and broccoli seven times a day. All with no sauce. <laughs> oh, hell to the no. So I backed up until I saw Irish Beat Cop Boulevard and never looked back. Sure, now the only six pack I have is one that I buy at the packy. And yes, now the only female attention I receive comes from my lovely bride, Colleen. But I'm all good with that. I eat what I want, drink what I want, and have plenty of room on my trophy shelf for my grandson's future hardware. Ryan, good luck in your upcoming competition. I hope you crush it. And in the future, if you ever find yourself in need of more broccoli, take mine. I'm all good. Come on, how cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court and Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court and Providence is also a TV show. Oh wow, your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtandprovidence.com, click on your local listings, Scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.